Welcome to another video on Microsoft Visio and sometimes uh, in office you might need a quick flow chart and you never worked it uh, before and uh, you open Microsoft Visio. So how you are going to uh, create a workflow or work chart or diagram. So I will just try to explain in very simple ways that how you can create a very basic or simple uh, flowchart right so when you will open microsoft video you will see these options on the top okay new home so this is new right and this is home so here we have different options so if you just want to create a flow this is cross functional means you have to show um, multiple departments and their internal processes then you will use this cross functional but for basic or simple straightforward it's a basic flowchart in this microsoft Visio is giving you four options empty this will be a blank page you have to create otherwise there will be certain uh, sample or template inside the newly created workflow page or document so you can select any of this so let me select this colored one let's try and create so this is a just a template right so first thing you can take the help from this if you want otherwise just select it and delete it right so now this is my workflow okay you know <clears throat> if you see you can just move here and there select all you can place where you want now the very first requirement will be if you have created this uh, workflow and how you can create a new one so this was a template let's say for example uh, let me move on this side so if you want to create from start you will just drag over here right uh, then you need another one for the data right so now this is there now just click over here and just move down on this arrow and bring it down okay so let's say for example after this now i have to create this decision box so i will come here and i will select this one so even i don't need to drag from here okay and then from here left side i have yes so i need another process i will just create here this process okay let me bring it down equal to this okay now the question is how to bring this up on the top because here it is on the top so just select this um, arrow line and this move from here to here oh now it came down so again sorry select this line and move upward let me remove this section of why it is created okay now there's a line with the arrow showing down so now i need to create or add yes in this you know this is yes side true side so i'll just double click and yes okay now you can click here sorry right <clears throat> now on the right side i have to create a no okay just click here or even you can just hover on this and just focus on this and it will show you these arrow keys and then select sorry not this one i need process this one move it down okay now uh, sorry man. this one okay and here i will add no right no uh -huh. then i have another process down yes and at the end i have and over here let me bring here and this on this side and from here drag here okay now you can double click here whatever you want to write you can write over here double click data decision 
right same way and here it is it is same right enjoy now the very next thing will be to add title on this let me remove this one and by the way on the left side you can have other quick uh, shapes as well like this when you can add more shapes from these shapes from this arrow so since we have already right so we are using this one if you need document you can add this one and others available shapes okay now this is my chart and now I need, I need a title on this on the top I want to add a title right Position uh, the title review object design design background border and title. Okay, now uh, okay. Now let us add title on the top of this. So we will go to design, right? on the top menu and here there is a background there is a border and title right so let's say for example if i need this title you can add this title it will give you date and title now it is up to you you want to add uh, any other title you can add from here see there are different types with different information so let me add the first one okay Okay, now if you see here at the below, there is a page one and there is a background one. So, this is your background, right? If you see here, here I am changing it. My first flow chart, right? Let's say like this. And then here, right? Okay, another thing is if you want to relay out, you can change the layout of your chart as well. It is up to you. See? As you like. So there are different uh, directions or layouts, right? Okay, another one is connectors, right? straight this these are different right okay <clears throat> layouts and titles this is background if you want to change the background let me add this one right uh, curve lines see now the lines so if you want to change these lines to the curve lines, so you just select this one, curve lines. So now what will happen, now just see the look and feel of your chart, right? Depends on your uh, mood or requirement. So even you can change, let me change this background to white, see? So now instead of these corners, now it is rounded, curved lines and if you don't like you can just come back right to the normal straight lines show line jumps since there is no so it is not changing anything right uh, so i like this one so i will keep this one uh, i hope you like this uh, session very short quick one because it will help you if you need a quick uh, flow chart, you can just uh, create your own fl uh, flow chart. Right? Please share your feedback. Thank you very much, Anadla Hafiz.